We're just dropping live yakkers down on some big bait walls in about 60 metres. And it took us a couple of hours, but we finally got a bite. He was playing with it for a bit and we fed it back to him and he's we got him hooked up here pretty good, so. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Coming straight at the boat. <laughs> right, so we've got a bit of colour coming up now. So I've just got the boat in forward gear and we're just moving with the fish. As long as I can stay with him or just in front of him, I can turn his head, bring him upside the boat, and then we'll grab him by the bill. While we're doing this, I'm keeping him forward gear the whole time so the fish is always swimming. Have a look down here, he's right here. This little black marlin. Beautiful little juvenile black. These little blacks they come down past the Sunshine Coast in the summer months, so. Alright, so we just use the circle hook on this fish. Cut the line off. That hook will rust and eventually pull out of him. So I'm just gonna pick up the revs a bit and we'll swim this fish for a little while. Sixty meters of water. And we've got our GT51 on our Garmin unit here running. We've got just our down view and our traditional running that on 260 megahertz and chirp on the traditional. So that's all our bait school through here. So we're just getting up ahead of it. We've got our autopilot keeping us nice and straight. Getting in front of those bait schools, dropping the encoder down, and we'll put our bait right on top of those schools for the marlin and feeding. got a 10,000 size spin reel, some braid, good size rod, and we're just running our braid to our swivel and rubbing a, running a little rubber band off the swivel just like that. So that rubber band will break once we hook up, so that way the marlin can't throw the hook as easy. Just running an 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, mono, just to a loop knot, and a size 8 live bait. We run our yakas down the top of the schools and get the bites. Alright, so this is how we're bringing up our live baits. We've got a bait needle, we've got the band through there. Grab ourselves. One of our live yaggers. Now we don't want to go through the eye, we don't want to go through the nose, we're going to go just through the top of the eye socket. It's not going to hurt the fish, it's not going to kill him. Hook. 
Gonna go through both loops, twist it up, and then back through from the nose towards the back. 